what you were doing. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, friends. Jay Todd coming to you from the fabulous strip in Las Vegas, Nevada. And here's what's happening this week in gambling. Hello, friends, and welcome to This Week in Gambling. It's so nice to finally be home and in my studio just in time for the big sports betting vote in California next week, a vote that could have serious implications for the gambling industry in America, and that is this week's big story. First of all, let's take just a moment to understand exactly what's at stake here. California has the potential to become the biggest sports betting market in the country, with some estimations placing its value at $3 billion a year. To that end, over $350 million has been spent on trying to get sports betting passed in the state, making this the most expensive political campaign in California history. So, sports betting should pass, right? Well, not so fast. There are two competing ballot initiatives, Proposition 26 and Proposition 27, and in their most basic form, they essentially boil down to tribal gaming versus big corporate sports betting operators. On the one side, we have Proposition 26, which is being supported by 60 of California's tribes and horse racing. On the other side, we have Proposition 27, which is supported by FanDuel, DraftKings, and the like, and Major League Baseball. Proposition 26 gives tribes the exclusive rights to sports bets, which must take place on tribal lands at tribal casinos. Proposition 27 would allow wagers to take place outside of tribal lands, including online and mobile sports betting. Proposition 26 would generate about $100 million a year in tax revenue, with some of those funds going to problem gambling and regulation. Proposition 27 would generate about $200 million a year and also set aside funds for problem gambling and regulation, with additional funds being allocated to homeless programs in the state. Now, for a proposition to pass in California, it only needs a simple majority. That is, 50% of the vote plus a vote. So, either one of these propositions could pass. Or, they could both pass and cause a real legal shitstorm. Or, the more likely scenario is that neither of them pass. You see, a recent poll from a California newspaper found that Proposition 26 had just 37% support. Proposition 27 had just 27% support, ironically. So, if both fail, the real losers in California will be anyone who's living there that just wants to make a little sports bet while we were at the Global Gaming Expo a couple of weeks ago, we conducted two interviews about California sports betting, one with tribal leadership, the other with a potential federal regulator. And we're gonna talk about both of those right after the break. This week's exclusive promotion is for the Yo-Yo Casino. Right now, Casino City has special offers for Yo-Yo and other gaming sites. Follow the direct link in this video's description to online.casinocity.com for all the details.
As I mentioned before the break, This Week in Gambling recently published two new interviews specifically about the upcoming vote on California sports betting. In the first, we speak to James Siva, the chairman of the California Nation's Indian Gaming Association, to get a tribal perspective on both of the competing propositions and what happens if one or the other passes, both pass, or neither pass. We also spoke to Sequoia Simmermeyer, the chairman of the National Indian Gaming Commission, to get a federal perspective on the topic and what we can expect from a regulatory standpoint if sports betting is passed in California. Both of these interviews are live right now on our YouTube channel. Um, girls, I am a professional, I gotta ask, where are your hands? They're right here, silly. <laughs> no, no, no. Your other hands? They're back here. I told you, touching is extra. Come on, get happy.